Valerie Jackson. I'm from Bentonville, Arkansas. I grew up in Arkansas. I grew up a Hogs fan. I could call the Hogs, I think, before I could say the alphabet. I'm Jose Beltran. Uh, I'm originally from Culiacán, Sinaloa, which is a city on the western coast of Mexico. Um, I came to the U.S. when I was six years old. I knew I wanted to do something that utilized my abilities in math and science, but also something that was very people-oriented, and I think that IE does a really good balance of both. I chose to do industrial engineering because from an early age, I was always a problem solver. I was always looking to see how to like tinker with things, how to put things together, take them apart. And as I grew older, I kind of steered away from wanting to take things apart to more of understanding the process behind things. And so that's what kind of got me towards industrial engineering instead of other departments like mechanical or things like that. This scholarship, it means so much. Being able to um, be funded for these things is amazing because it is hard. Um, I have a twin brother and my parents have to figure out how to pay for both me and my twin. We're both going through university at the same time and that's a lot to put on them with two um, university um, like bills coming in and it just means so much to be able to put a little bit weight off of their shoulders. AIE has supported me immensely throughout my four years of college. Um, I come from a household, a one-parent household, so it's always been difficult. You know, it was never guaranteed that I would get the opportunity to come to school, study what I wanted to do. So AIE has really kind of allowed me to live out my dreams. It's allowed me to make my mom proud. It's allowed to make my, my dad proud. Like, I'm not sure exactly what career specifically I want to do with IE, but I know that I want to use my degree to just look at the world through a different lens and kind of like be able to have the foundation of like, how can I make these things better um, in more a unique way where I can work with a more problem solving mindset in all that I do. I've given it a lot of thought where I want to go with my career as an industrial engineer. I'm really interested, always have been in aeronautics, so I'm kind of hoping to start working with the company that deals with that whether that be Lockheed Martin, maybe Boeing, or maybe even, you know, SpaceX, NASA, companies like that. I would love to be able to join AAIE um, after um, I've like established a career in this field. And I think that it's great to connect with the next generation, helping them know like, it might be hard, but it is so worth it. I've always been a really big proponent of giving back to your community and Obviously, I've been helped immensely by the people of AAIE, so I would love to be able to repay my debts. If I ever did get an invitation, I would accept it in a heartbeat. Thank you, AAIE. Thank you, AAIE. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Walls. I am a student from Conway, Arkansas. I am participating in my senior year right now. I'm from Searcy, Arkansas, and I graduated from Searcy High School. And I moved there from like Marion, Arkansas, but I am majoring in industrial engineering. And in my free time, I like enjoy photography and like playing video games or whatever, but I also like really hanging out with my friends and getting to know other people that are in my major. I chose industrial engineering because I really liked the aspect that um, engineering um, helps you to think critically, but it also, industrial engineering has this different side of it where you're more focused on the business world and optimization and thinking as a system as a whole. So that's what really spoke to me about this major. I went to the information session last year and just to hear the upperclassmen talk about like all of their opportunities and all the things they've accomplished so far and just to learn more about the major and what we're like what I'm going to be doing and learning that we're more of like a businessy type of engineering so it we're more social and it's more than just sitting behind a screen and closed off. I 
I went into college um, really wanting to be an accountant, but I didn't necessarily want to get my undergraduate degree in accounting. So that's why I um, transitioned into industrial engineering, just because it plays the role of that business critical thinking that I was talking about. Um, so after graduation, I plan to attend um, a university to get my master's of account accountancy and get a CPA. So I'm really looking to transition into the business world of finding a way that merges industrial engineering and that critical thinking that these courses have taught me into a role as an auditor or a tax um, foundation specialist. I don't have any specific company, but like I've heard companies of like Boeing and ArcBest and like any of those would be kind of cool to work with as long as they can stay in Arkansas. One thing that's really important to me is traditions across the University of Arkansas and also within our department. So um, I'm going to be really excited to come back and hopefully get inducted into AAIE one day um, because I've had my own career successes. But um, one thing that IISE is really focused on is the pil three pillars of students to students, students to faculty, and then students to alumni. So um, just keeping the connection of the student alumni is going to be really important to the community that industrial engineering is wanting to push forward to in the future. So I hope to be a part of that and getting to pour into students that uh, mentors and alumni have poured into me. 15 years from now, if I were to join AARE, I would really enjoy giving the same scholarship that I've received because then I know it'll help the student just like it helped me. And also I'd like to focus on like women in engineering or minorities because I feel like they should be more prominent in engineering than they are. And I feel like with scholarships, they're more influenced to stay in industrial engineering and continue to represent. Sometimes it feels like you're just writing a check or attending a banquet but what you're doing and what you're a part of is actually a lot more as you're impacting students. You're pushing them forward and saying, somebody actually does believe in me and my career aspirations um, through those sorts of the scholarships sometimes, or whether you're coming back for a peer mentor circle, that does matter and it does impact these students. And over the past three years, being so involved within this department, um, I have felt that connection and how important it is for me. Um, I've been encouraged by mentors and I've also, um, had the beneficial factor of scholarships and it's been really critical for my enrollment, I guess. So thank you. I really appreciate the scholarship because it helps with obviously with financial aid and everything, but I'm really appreciative to AAIE for supporting the students year after year and watching us grow as we go through college. Thank you, AAIE. Thank you, AAIE. My name is Christopher Haywood. I am a sophomore. My hometown is Hope, Arkansas. My name is Parker Tankersley. I'm from Joplin, Missouri. Coming into college, I wasn't really too sure of what engineering major I wanted to do. And um, I honestly didn't decide IE until the week before decision day. I just started doing my research, looking into the fields. And then I just came to the conclusion that industrial engineering was right for me. And ever since I made that choice, there's been no looking back and I'm confident that I made the right decision. I didn't really know what engineering I wanted to do when I came in. I thought I was mechanical, but um, when Dr. Cassidy came and gave us the spiel for IE and uh, freshman engineering, I knew it, was the, knew it was the one for me. So I've uh, really enjoyed the choice ever since. This is definitely where I'm supposed to be. Uh, this scholarship has definitely helped me a lot to be able to continue my dream of pursuing an engineering degree at the University of Arkansas. This definitely wouldn't be possible without AAIE, and I'm forever grateful. My family's forever grateful. AAIE's uh, given a lot to me. Um, I've done the mentor circles, and that I've gotten more out of that than I can even express. Um, 
just a lot of great wisdom there. As, as far as the generosity goes, I mean, I was never a huge uh, scholarship recipient, but whenever I came into the department, um, they greeted me with open arms and, and, and gave me some uh, opportunities to relieve myself a little bit financially, and it's really made a big difference for me and my family. Everyone wants to give back. That's one of the main reasons of being in organizations such as, such as AAIE. Uh, I, I really think I could maybe provide a mentorship to younger uh, industrial engineers that, that need their guidance because I know that I'm, I'm only a sophomore in my first semester right now, but the guidance I have gotten from the industrial engineering department has been phenomenal. And I know I want to be able to give back and provide the same type of uh, mentorship as well. I'd love the opportunity to be able to give back to the department. I also think it'd be neat to uh, be able to come back all these years later and see what everyone's been doing, um, see all the great things that I know our, our department's capable of, and I'm sure I'm sure it'll just get better and better. So just being able to come back and observe that would be um, just awesome. I'd like to pursue data analytics a bit more. I think that's kind of an exciting uh, new route SIEs can take, and I think that's something I'd like to pursue in the future. Thank you, AAIE. Thank you, AAIE.